Hi, my name's Tony, and I am the founder of multiple Facebook groups that have members in, um, that are over 1,000. And uh, one in particular um, that you probably heard of and is maybe the reason why you're here um, is my largest group, which just hit about 50,000 members. And um, that one is called For the Love, For the Love of Dragons. Um, another group I have, which is also dragon related, which I'll talk about a little bit, is uh, based on a video game called War Dragons. And uh, that group is called War Dragons Addicts. And uh, it is currently the largest group um, for that video game. That's not really saying a lot. I mean, there, there's not really a lot of competition. One, and it's it's a pretty um, a pretty specific um, niche. You know, uh, very specific to that game. And I'll tell you that the mistakes that I made um, actually with both of those groups, and then how I didn't really realize the significance until uh, I made that change um, for the second time. So. Uh, here, here's where I made my mistakes, basically, with, with um, both War Dragon Addicts and um, with For the Love of Dragons. Um, with WDA, I, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll start this um, group about the video game, and, um, you know, maybe I can get them to, um, you know donate resources or buy packs or you know do something to um you know maybe people will join through a referral link that i have which will give me like you know boost ups and kind of like advantages that kind of stuff in the game and so essentially what i was doing was i was starting the group so that i could i could find a way that i could manipulate it to my advantage so that i could you know, either a maybe maybe figure out a way to generate some donations, or or maybe even come up with some sort of plan to a market to them. Um, and you know, I, I was barely able to get um, you know, a couple dozen subscribers. And you know, there was another group at the at the same time that was um that was doing rather well, and and it was increasing in membership at a pretty steady pace. So. I, I, you know, I ended up taking a different approach, right? And, and I, and I ended up um, really looking through the group and seeing who was really into the game, like who was really posting stuff about the actual game um, with with War Dragons Addicts. And I dropped any ideas of, of trying to market any kind of product. Um, I, I had a stupid affiliate link in the homepage to like buy some like video game chair that costs like. <laughs> I don't know, hundreds of dollars. And, and like, that's not how people shop. They don't go, oh, look at this cool link on this Facebook group ad. And I think that's what I'm going to purchase. They, they don't do that. <laughs> and, you know, I know it's, you know, it's it's kind of a neat idea. You think, oh, yeah, if I get the right market and, you know, these people play video games, they would be into a video game chair. And if they like me, um, you know, they'll, they'll want to buy a product that I recommend. And, you know, yeah, there's some truth to that, but that's not the way to go about it. Okay, they're not just going to randomly come across a link or, or see some post that you put up and said, hey, look, I found this really cool chair. Um, you know, maybe if you actually bought the chair and you were in it and you, you know, were able to like really like make a video and demonstrate like how much you like it and you could like sit back in it and you could like, you know, do all these different things and make these adjustments in the, in the, in the arms or whatever, whatever the case may be, you know, and, and you can, you know, show yourself, you know, using it, have, have a, you know, that kind of thing. And like, hey, I really love this chair. You know, I got it from this company and they're this trusted brand. Um, that's the way to go about it. Okay. And so, and so, you know, when you're going to recommend a product, um, have the product demonstrate how that product helps you in your life and how it can help the people that, you know, and that, and that, that you are talking to that have a common interest and, you know, and go about it legitimately. Don't, don't just, don't just put some spammy link in the description or, or, or send them a message or say, Hey, you know, let me know what you think. And then they say, Oh yeah, I like it. And then, and then you hit them with an affiliate link. It, people don't, People don't like that for one, and they definitely don't buy that way. So, you know, make a video, show yourself using the product, um, you know, and then say, look here, I, you know, I have an affiliate link. Be open about it. Here's an affiliate link in the description. If you click on that and purchase, I'll get a small commission. I really think you'll really appreciate it. It really helps me for what I do. Um, it's not going to affect your purchase price in any way. You don't have to use my affiliate link. You can go to their site directly. If you don't feel comfortable using it, I totally understand. Okay, so you see where I'm going? Like, be open and honest about about it, and, and be authentic, be sincere about what you're doing, and and 
you know, think to yourself, you know, would I, would I buy a product just because I came across a link in, in a description of a video or a group? Um, or, or am I more likely to buy a product um, online from somebody who I know is, is um, you know, essentially an expert who is honest and authentic? and um is really showing you know the benefits to me of you know what this product or service you know it brings um and so you know with with kind of getting more into like for the love of dragon so i had this silly idea again um, i'm going to start this group um, about people who love dragons um, i'm going to attract some members i'm going to make some cool posts and um along the way and throughout this process i'm going to sprinkle in these little like affiliate ads for like dragon hoodies and you know little little goodies about dragons and like you know my uh, aliexpress <laughs> links and uh amazon links which are fine but still you know when you see an amazon link and you see all the um the code after the the amazon.com that that basically is your um identifier it just looks so uninviting and spammy you know i'm sorry it does and and think about it yourself i mean look at some of these affiliate links and, and ask yourself really does that look like something i really want to be clicking on and and then and then whipping out my credit card and making a purchase it just um you know there's a lot of scammers out there and we've got to be careful so um you know that that's that was my first mistake right i'm thinking about me how can i make a buck how can i you know, convert real people who are into a real, um, you know, who are really passionate about a particular topic, and I'm I'm looking for a way to exploit them and, and to make money, and that's just not the way. It's just not. It's not a proper way to do business. It's not an effective way to do business. Um, you know, it, it's it. If you if you do happen to get a sale, I, I I gotta say it's probably most likely completely luck if you get a sale that way. Um, and you know, in my experience, the best thing to do is to be authentic and be honest. Okay. And so, you know, here, here's the biggest thing that I changed in both groups. I, I turned both groups I, away from being about me and how can I get an advantage or make a buck to what can I do for them, for the members of my group, right? So in each one, they, they wanted, they wanted information. They want to see photos. They want to have, they, they want to be able to engage about that topic. They want to be able to talk about that topic. They want to ask questions about it. And so that's kind of what happens in our video game, you know, and I, and, and you know, um, when I made it about the members instead of about me, it began to flourish members, more members began to, um, request membership more people began to show up and and when I did it the first time I remember being so excited about our first 100 and it seemed like um, it's, uh, in a blink of an eye I turned around and we were at our first you know all of a sudden we were at 200 you know and then and then boom you know we had a thousand and you know I thought it was because of certain people in our group but really what it was was the fact that I was making the group about the members and not about me and so once it became about them, more and more people wanted to join. And the more, um, the more people began to participate and, and share their information and post and, and um, answer questions that some of the other members had and, you know, helping out new players, you know, with the video game. Um, you know, For the Love of Dragons was a little bit different because it really was, it was really more like, hey, I found this cool picture of a dragon, you know, and then everybody starts posting these really cool pictures. And, you know, the next thing I know, um, it went from me, um, you know, spamming everybody because I took down every affiliate link I had. I deleted all the stupid posts that I had about, you know, recommending products and all this other garbage that I had on For the Love of Dragons. And I and it's probably still in the archive. <laughs> you want to go back and uh, and see how ridiculous it really was um, in the beginning. Um you're, You would look at it and you probably scroll through the first couple of uh, pages of it and, and just go whoa this is this is a spammy nightmare right here i see what this guy was trying to pull it's, it was pretty obvious how how stupid i was being <laughs> you know and I'm, and I'm just being honest so you know if you're still watching this video you know we're 10 minutes in and basically you know i, I said in the video in the description that it's going to be about you know the biggest mistake i made and, and the one adjustment i made and so that's it right in a nutshell the biggest mistake i made is i made the group about me and the biggest adjustment i make 
I made was making the group about the members. And I know it seems it seems really obvious, like that should be the obvious route, right? But, you know, I, I don't know what it is, you know, yeah, you know, you're thinking about a way to make money from home, or you're trying to think about a way to, you know, maybe supplement your earning or even replace your job. And, you know, it, you know, if you're not really that creative, sometimes some of these things, they, they kind of sound like they might make sense, like they might work. Um, and and it, I, I was kind of on the right track, okay? So now that we're like, like I said, we're a little over 10 minutes in, uh, now about 11 minutes in, you're, if you're still watching, boom. I'm going to reveal something right now that I didn't mention in the description of this video. Okay, so if you're still watching, you're about to learn something really cool that a lot of people out there are charging money for this kind of for this kind of information. Um, they're literally this is something I've I've learned from um, not only my own experience, but I've learned from some paid courses that I've taken, and I've taken these paid courses, um, you know, not only to grow my Facebook group. Um, but so I can help you guys, you know, so that I can help you guys to experience the same joys and, and, and uh, freedoms um, that have resulted uh, of having, you know, literally, I think, a combination of these things. I, I'm, I'm close to 100,000 members throughout my different social media projects, and, and I'm just getting started, really. Um, I, I, I've really only been um, doing this on a serious level for about a year. And, uh, and, and, and the results I've seen in this past year have been, have been pretty phenomenal. So here, so here it is. Okay. Here's my secrets. All right. Once you've made the group about the members, encourage their, encourage their participation, ask for their participation. Hey, you know what? You know, I've, I've been looking all over for certain types of pictures of these certain kind of dragons. Sorry. I just bumped my tripod. Um, but you see where I'm going, like, make this post about, hey, can you guys find me some, like, you know, cool pictures of, like, you know, dragons that are, like, fire-themed or dragons that are, um, you know, right? You see where I'm going? Okay. Um, ask the members to participate. Ask them questions. You know, what do you think was the coolest movie about dragons? And then, you know, and you know, do you think it was, you know, this movie, that movie, you know, A, B, C, D, or E, or other? And, you know, and, and really get them to participate. And when they when they participate then you also engage with them. There's another big secret right there is engaging with your members, right? So if they, if they post something and they say, you know, you'll see you post a really cool uh, picture or something and um, one of your members, you know, they take a minute just to say, wow, I really like this. And then just you take a quick second and say, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Okay, then they, they know that you're there. They know that you're interacting, that you've acknowledged them and you've acknowledged their comment. And that makes them feel a part of because in the, and they are a part of your group. The members are what make your group what it is, right? And, and by caring for the group, by nurturing it, and, and nurturing it, I mean those three things. Being authentic, okay? Being about the actual topic, okay? Making it about the members and then engaging with your members, interacting with your members, okay? Ha having conversations with them, encourage them to participate. Um, give people things like what I love to do with um, For the Love of Dragons. When I, I, I notice when people are submitting a lot of posts and I'm looking at what they're posting and if, you know, it's really, it's really, if it's really looking on target and it's consistent and they're, they're posting things on that topic over and over and over again, I will trust them and give them post pre-approval to go ahead and post freely. And then I don't have to review their posts anymore. And they feel trusted because they are. And now they feel even more part of the group and are more willing to participate. So then when you have those, those types of people, and I, and I don't do this um, for the love of dragons, we're actually going to, um, we actually are going to open up a little bit of a store here with, with some um, really cool merchandise, but we really want to make sure um, that we take our time and that we come up with something that you guys are really going to love and really going to enjoy and that it's going to be at a proper price point, that it's going to be something affordable. It's not going to be about um, how much money can I make from my members or whatever. It's just that, you know, I really would like to, you know, provide you guys with, um, if you're one of the members of For, love of the, Dra uh, for, for the Love of Dragons, um, I really do want to um, provide you guys with like some cool stuff, you know, like some, you know, uh, some cool merchandise that, you know, would kind of reflect your love for dragons. Um, you know, that's that was the thing. Like, I, you know, I remember the first time I saw a dragon when I was a kid and I thought they were the coolest things ever. And I always liked dinosaurs and they kind of look like dinosaurs to me. And, um, 
you know, so, so, you know, when it, when it came down to it, obviously I joined this video game about dragons and then, you know, I, I obviously made this Facebook group about dragons. I think they're the coolest creatures in the world. Um, I really do. You know, there, there's so many elements about, about them. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of, there's been a lot of chat about these like real dragons that are out there living on the, on the earth today. I don't know how much truth there is to that. I haven't actually seen one myself. <laughs> Maybe I will. That would be pretty crazy. Um, but you know, as a mythical creature, um, they're, they're this beautiful idea. Um, you know, something that can be very, um, very visually stunning and very visually beautiful and yet be very vicious and carnal at the same time you know it's, it's it's got these really cool balance of elements to them and uh i just you know look at me look, i'm lighting up i love dragons i do you know and, and there, i have other loves you know i love canines um that's actually one of like my main job profession that i do in person is i work with dogs and people are always like why are you so happy why does it seem like you're always so happy i'm like i work with dogs wouldn't you be happy you know if you're a dog lover or you're a dog owner you get it could you imagine like instead of working with the people that like give you headaches and drive you nuts all day long or whatever the case may be that you have to work with a bunch of dogs you know or even just work with one dog for the whole day and it's just you and that dog and you're getting paid for it that's that's my life these days um you know, and, and, and I've, and I've been able to generate income streams, um, you know, simply based on, on, on this idea of how can I serve, how can I serve, um, a, a particular group of people, you know, in, in this sense is how can I serve dogs and dog owners, right? Um, so when I took that attitude, like how, how can I give to them, then the next thing I know, the knowledge started to come, the experience became, uh, it started to come and, and the combination of knowledge and experience grew into me actually um, developing a, pro a profession that I can make a, a very good amount of money doing. And it's also a service, um, you know, don't limit your market. Okay, because this is also a service that, yeah, I do in person and, you know, I, I'm, out, I'm willing to travel, but it, I can literally um, do like things like dog training and, and like Zoom training sessions with people and do consultations and those kind of things. Um, with anybody literally in the world, you know, um, that's, that's one of the really cool things about, um, modern day and modern day technology, um, is that we don't really necessarily have to limit ourselves to a brick and mortar building. Um, even if you are, you know, um, you know, say you're into woodworking and, and, and you know, the pieces may be too big to, to be shipped. I don't know how that, how that would really work. Um, as far as like the shipping and logistics of all that and the weight and those, those kind of things. But, you know, assume it's, it's something that can't be shipped, but, um, you know, uh, maybe there's like a lot of people who, um, you know, you've grown a group about woodworking and there's a lot of people in that group eventually. And, and you've done the things that I've mentioned, right? You've done the things like ask your members to participate, ask them to, you know, tell other people, uh, tell their friends about me, you know, tell our woodworker uh, fans, you know, about my woodworking group here, you know, let's, uh, let's get some more people involved. And, um, you know, so you make some videos of some of your, of some of your working and you're using a certain set of tools and you're able to join, um, you know, say, a, a, you know, a particular retail brand and and sell their their products you know for a commission and and then you know you can do what i mentioned before you know like during a, a woodworking session you know you can mention hey you know i use this particular tool and i get it from this site and you know you can there's a link in the description and right same same idea where you're going through and you're and you're telling um you know you're telling your audience um you know how how this product benefits you and how you use it and how it can help them and and then you're also, you know, seen as an expert, as a trusted source, and you've been interacting with your with your um, members this whole time, and they know that you're a real person, that you're not just some uh, bot out there um, trying to get their money, right? Or that you're not just some, you know, scammer, um, you know, saying that you live in one country, but you're really living in another country, and you've got some sort of, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin scheme going on, you know, and, and there's, there's plenty of things like that going on out there, guys. There really is. Um, I, I, I've, I've, I've come across my fair share. Uh, trust me, you know, when you're, when you're growing Facebook groups and you're in, and, and people are starting to see, um, your growth and your membership, um, they, they're also looking for ways that they can exploit those groups and, and make money. And that's why, um, I highly recommend, um, having post pre-approval settings on all your groups so that nobody can just post freely unless you've given them post pre-approval. Um, 
each, so then this way you can see every post as it's submitted and, and decide which ones you're going to allow, which ones you're going to decline. And effectively, you can also figure out um, which people you want to eliminate from your group right away. Okay, and, that, and that's, that's one of the things that, that we do with, um, with For the Love of Dragons. We've basically developed a formula where um, when, you, when, you, when you come on to join, you've got to add, answer a couple of questions. And they're really basic questions, and it's not really a big deal, but it doesn't stop there. So um, now we've gotten to the point where we're literally getting hundreds, hundreds of uh, requests daily. Excuse me. We're getting hundreds of requests daily with that group, and um, it, it just <laughs> I keep bump, I keep bumping my tripod, and it, it just it just keeps getting um, it just keeps growing. Okay, and so we got to the point where we were just like, okay, every day we're gonna do um, one um, approve all. We're gonna approve all the members who requested, and the the process of elimination for the ones who are are spamming. Um, basically, they try to post a spam post and we delete that post we don't allow that post to be posted and then we ban that member right away um, sometimes things do kind of sneak through guys find sneaky ways to, to get into the group so that they can drop comments and, and do other things um, under the radar um, and that's again where your members um, become your biggest asset right because now your members are going to be the ones who are going to report that person they're going to say hey look this guy's posting some spammy garbage um, let's, you know, let's tell that, let's tell the admin about it. And then that way they can not only protect themselves by, you know, blocking that member and that member's post in their own feed. Um, but then I can, I can go ahead and take the measures uh, uh, to ban that person or, or just to simply remove their comment and give them a warning or whatever the case may be. Um, it's very important that you have control over your group. And I, and I know it, it sounds kind of, you know, whatever, but, um, if you want you want to you want to dedicate time and put in some effort to the authenticity of your group you want it to be you know a real group and so we'll kind of go back into this woodworking theme uh, real quick i know i bounced off of that but um you know so so say you're into woodworking and that's what you want to do and, and and you have artwork that you would like to um you know make and sell and uh you know say you have a legitimate website and uh, a place where people can um, place orders or or possibly put in re um, custom requests or i don't know how this all works with your with your industry but again you see where i'm going um and so you know you start a group about that topic about woodworking and and you know the art craft of it or whatever and then um you know you, you encourage people to participate um you acknowledge them, you know, acknowledge new members, you know, hey, let's welcome this new member or this group of new members who recently, you know, joined and, um, you know, and then ask them a question, you know, hey, what kind of woodworking are you into? How long have you been into it? Or what area are you in? And, you know, what kind of cool stuff have you found? I'd love to see some of your photos and, um, you know, that kind of thing, you know, really, like, like really take a, a genuine interest in, in, in your members and, and, and what they are, what they mean to the group. Um, and, and, you know, during this process of, you know, encouraging participation and when they post, you, you know, thank them for posting or you give them a compliment about the post. Oh, that's really beautiful. I really like that piece. That's really, that's a really cool post. Um, I thank you for sharing that. That's really awesome. If you got more of those, I'd like to see more of that. Um, you know, those kind of things. And, and, you know, and yeah, you know, let people know that they're a part of your group. So then when you do get to the point to where you're like, you know, say somebody posts the type of uh, woodwork um, that you're into and you can reply and you can say, hey, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. You know that that's, that's the kind of work I do too, right? And then if they reply, go, oh, okay, I, I got you. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know, you're, look at my site real quick. I got some, you know, uh, examples of my work there. And, you know, okay, so you see where I'm going. You know, when you're engaging and now you're leading them to their website and now they go to your legitimate website. Don't lead them to some spammy affiliate link, you know, blah, 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 you know, dot com slash, you know, uh, 17 letter code. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't 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 go drop us a, a spammy affiliate link on somebody. Um, there there are ways to market affiliate um, products, but that's not that's not one of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're in a legitimate craft, legitimate business, yeah, you know maybe show them a picture of your work and and response to something that they posted. And um, hey, if you want to check out more, here's my photo gallery. That type of thing. Um, and then now they know you're a legitimate business person. They've seen your business card, aka your website, and uh, you know it may, maybe they not, may not 
become a customer, but maybe they'll be like, oh man, this is something my mom would be really into, or this is something my friend would probably really dig. I'm going to send them the link. Do you see what I mean? You know, you know, if you're, if you're being genuine and authentic and you're, and you're really being yourself, and you're a trustworthy person, that will all show, that will all show through to your group. Um, not unlike this video, guys. I mean, look, this video has not been perfect. I, I, I've bumped my tripod two or three times. Um, I, you know, uh, come on. It's just me here. It's just me here talking to you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm here to help. I, I'm in a very fortunate position where, um, I don't have to go out there and, and do this, uh, you know, daily grind at work like most people do. I, I, um, I have been able to, you know, be fortunate to be put in this position where I've got a lot of free time and I can help you all. Um, I'm always here. If you have any kind of questions, um, you know, regarding how to grow a Facebook group, how to, how to grow a page, um, and how to, how to Im implement that into the passion that you have and, and what it is that you love and what you want to do. Um, you know, and, and if, if you've gotten to the point to where, you know, say you're doing all those things that I'm doing and you've, you've given it enough time and, you know, you want to give things sufficient time to grow. Don't expect immediate results. Um, so assuming that you've taken these measures, you've given your group a sufficient amount of time and you're really just not seeing any sort of significant um, increase in membership or, or the type of results that you would have expected to see in that time period. Um, there could be a, there could be a couple of different reasons for that. Um, I'm always willing, regardless of your situation, regardless of where you're at, I'm always willing, um, drop me the link, uh, to your group or your page and I will do a, a quick evaluation. I won't charge you anything for it. This isn't me trying to make money. Um, like I said, I'm here to help. So I'll do a quick review of your of your um, group, your page. Um, uh, I'll just take, you know, I'll look for certain um, criteria. I'll look for certain things that, that should be there. And, and if I notice anything that's out of place, um, I'll point it out to you and get you pointed in the right direction. Um, there's, you know, I, I'm again, I'm not big in the selling things, um, but the the fan page bot that I use, that's the other secret weapon. I'll, I will post a, a, a link for that in the description of this video. Um, you know, and just like I mentioned, you know, obviously this is an affiliate link. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's something we know again with a legitimate company. I've done my research. I use the fan page bot myself. Um, you can obviously see the results and, you know, um, how it's helped me grow my member members membership to, you know, the thousands. Um, you know, what we're doing here with this group in particular, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're still under a hundred people and you guys, uh, this group that's a part of this you know, under 100, you're, you're going to be getting information. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this video up really, because there's some secrets in this video that I revealed to you guys, um, that people will pay money for and you're getting it absolutely free. So, um, go ahead and take advantage of this while this group is small, you know, cause this is one of the cool things about this particular group is that we're literally taking it from zero members and we're showing you how, how to grow a group from basically nothing and, and watch what this group does. It's going to take a little bit of time. Okay. But once it begins to snowball and accumulate, it'll, it'll, you'll begin to see some real actual um, tangible results. Um, and simply by doing what I'm doing right now, and what I what I've talked about doing in this particular video. So I really hope that this has helped you, that this has got you going in the right direction. Um, if you're stuck, let me know. Okay, uh, either either comment on this video, um, reply in the group, or send me a direct message. There's there's you know multiple ways that you can get a hold of me. Okay, so I'm always here for you guys. I'm always here for all of you. Um, Thank you for watching and participating in the group. And, you know, like I said, you know, like I said earlier, let's tell some people about what's going on here and, and, and tell them, hey, I found a way that, you know, I can you can turn your passion, your love, your desire, what you want to do into, you know, what you do for a living. And, th and this is a real legitimate thing that you can do. This isn't me trying to sell you some kind of um, pyramid scheme here. This is, this is you turning your passion in, into money in, in, in a legitimate, honest, genuine way. Um, so good luck. I'm, I'm always here for you. Take care guys. Thank you.